Hi, I'm Betty Alkazian and welcome to Balanced Parenting. Today we're going to talk about the dreaded tantrums. There is no more desperate time for any parent than when their child is having a tantrum, except maybe when their child is having a tantrum in public. First, let's talk about what a tantrum might mean for your child, and then we'll talk about what you should do about it. For many kids, having a tantrum means that they are having feelings bigger than their whole body, and they're completely overwhelming them. They don't have the words to express how big it feels, so they show you what it feels like on the inside with a big, ugly meltdown on the outside. The first thing you should do as a parent is to remind yourself that it's not your job to fix this. It is simply your job to support your child and to teach him a better way of expressing himself. But you can't possibly teach anything mid-tantrum, right? Plus, we don't want to feed any behaviors that we don't like, or else they're likely to stick around. So I often suggest to parents to step over or away from your tantruming child and say in a calm voice, I'll be right here when you're ready to talk. Then let him finish his meltdown. As soon as you see signs of calming, begin to feed the behaviors you like by saying, I like how you're taking deep breaths, or thank you for calming yourself down. Then when he's ready to talk, help your child to label the feelings that were so overwhelming by saying, you were so mad, or that toy really frustrated you. Our ultimate goal is for our child to tell us how he is feeling rather than showing us so we need to give him the words we wish he would say. When you're in public, this tantrum takes on a whole different component with the embarrassment that sets in. I so wish I could remove that embarrassment chip from every parent's brain, but the truth is, it is embarrassing. This reminds me of an old joke. A mother's walking down an aisle in the supermarket and her toddler is in the shopping cart screaming and throwing a tantrum. The mother calmly says, Jessica, just two more aisles and we will be done. The child continues screaming and carrying on as the mother goes down the next aisle. She calmly repeats, Jessica, just one more aisle and we will be done. The child is now completely hysterical and the mother says, Jessica, hold it together. We're about to check out. The woman behind them at the checkout stand says to the mother, I just have to say that I've been watching you and you are incredible in the way that you are handling Jessica. To which the mother replies, thanks, but I'm Jessica. All kidding aside, try to stay focused on teaching your child and remember that other parents are simply saying, thank goodness it's not my kid this time. Any judgment from the outside is unimportant. Remove your child from a restaurant or a quiet place if necessary. But again, try not to feed the behavior with your emotional attention. Be matter of fact and prioritize the child calming down before returning. Give him the words you wish he would have said for himself and give positive reinforcements for calming himself down. Eventually, by labeling his feelings often enough, you will find that your child will learn to use his words and there will no longer be a need for tantrums. I'm Betty Alkazian, and I'll see you next time on Balanced Parenting.